I made a short Paper Mario animation in Blender recently, and I want to explain how I made it. But first, you might want to watch the animation if you haven't already, because otherwise this video probably isn't going to make sense. Okay? Okay, let's get into it. I've always wanted to try making animations in Blender, but it was always a hassle rendering anything with my old laptop because it would take forever to render just one frame. But a week or two ago, my mom bought me a new laptop which actually has a mini GPU in it, and it gave me an excuse to test out making animations again. But enough backstory, let's get into how the animation was actually made, and stick around because I've got something special for you at the end of the video. First, I needed an idea of what to actually make. I miss the days of stylish moves from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So that gave me the idea, what if the modern Paper Mario jump attack was more stylish? So now that I knew what I wanted to make, I got to work. The first thing to do was to make Mario and his sprite animations. Just a note, modern Paper Mario runs at 30 frames per second, so that's what everything in my animation runs at. Fortunately, there is a great tutorial by the Observatory on making a Paper Mario walk cycle in Blender. Go check him out, by the way, he's very cool. Anyways, following his video, I was able to make some of the basic animations like idle, running, and jumping. I also made an animation of Mario's idle battle stance, and most importantly, I made the animation of Mario's existing jump attack from Paper Mario the Origami King by checking the frame count of the animation in-game. However, I couldn't just add the normal game sprites because they all have slightly different aspect ratios. The problem is that different aspect ratios can cause the image of Mario to stretch and get some wonky results. So instead, I opened up a program called Fire Alpaca and made a perfectly square image, pasted the sprites in as layers, centered them all, and then exported other layers and used those as the sprites instead. This fixed the stretching and I was able to finish all the sprite animations of Mario that I needed. The Goombas were pretty much a copy-paste of Mario, but with less animations and different sprites. I only needed an idle animation and their hurt animation for when they get stomped on. The Goombas were smooth sailing compared to Mario. For my scene, I decided that I wanted to do something that looked like a debug room in a video game. So I added a checkerboard floor, but it was a bit bland just like that. So I changed the background color to a bright blue, and added some basic shapes and gave them some vibrant colors to spice things up a little bit. Since this was going to be a YouTube short, I wanted the animation to loop. So I copy pasted the floor and background objects and moved them over by a set amount and added floor in between the two existing floors. Then I set the camera up at a starting position and also the ending position to make sure that they were getting the same exact picture for a seamless loop. I also added an easter egg if you want to look for it. Next, I added Mario and the Goombas to the scene and had to go through the long process of making Mario move and stomp on the Goombas and also play the right sprite animations using keyframes. I also had to make the Goombas change animations when they got stomped on. Keyframing the camera movement was a bit tricky and I had to tweak it a few times to make sure that Mario would stay on screen without making the camera move too erratically. Now that the basics of the animation were completed, I could make it a little bit more special by adding particles. I added dust particles that Mario would pick up when he was running, and I also added a burst of confetti and stars after each Goomba stomp. These particles are actually copies of pre-made objects that are hidden under the floor and also- wait, what? Who put this here? To add the excellent overlay, I made a separate Blender file where I made some triangles and pointed them towards the center of where the camera was looking. Then I went and animated them moving in and out at varying speeds. I also added the excellent text and animated it moving down from the top of the screen and squishing a little bit. Once I had a good result, I exported it as an image sequence with a transparent background. I also took the time to make an image of the text displaying Mario's HP to overlay in the final video. I used sounds and music from Paper Mario Sticker Star. I know that a lot of people don't like Sticker Star very much, but I enjoy it and I think it has the most underrated soundtrack out of all the Paper Mario games. Finally, I put everything together in the Blender video editor. Overall, I think this came out pretty well for my first animation on YouTube. It's something that I think I can be proud of compared to some of my other videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed- 
get pranked. I didn't forget about the surprise. Fun fact, I tried making some Paper Mario animations in Blender in the past that I'm showing on screen right now. The animation I was working on was called Paper Mario in the Backrooms. I know it's a silly video idea, but I quit making it because it would have taken a really long time to animate and render with my old computer. But if this new animation that I've made gets 100,000 views, I will commit and actually make the full animation even if it's difficult. Okay, peace out. Thank you.